How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of December 1st, 2019. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing week it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. Obviously, I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'm just so happy that I can be here with you guys. And thank you for your patience in advance. I might have to keep this video a little bit brief, but I'm truly happy to be here. So one of the reasons that I am so happy to be here is because of Jupiter. Right around Monday is when Jupiter will change signs, moving into the sign of Capricorn. Now this is important for a bunch of reasons that I will share in depth on YouTube uh, in the next few days. Obviously because of my voice, there's a little bit of a delay there. However, I did wanna share some stuff with you right now with this. Um, because I've already put out the special horoscopes, previews on Instagram, and of course on my website as well. But look, Jupiter moving into Capricorn is such a special move. This is about you understanding and bringing the sacredness of ambition to a new area of life and experiencing blessings as a result. The sign of Capricorn is about ambition and ownership for your goals. It is about, on the more mundane level, career and social standing, but it also connects to life purpose and what purpose are we willing to sacrifice for so that we can move ourselves in that direction. Well, wherever it is that we are willing to put in that time to establish ourselves one step at a time, it is those very areas where we may find some truly big rewards now and in the months to come. There is a sense now of all of us moving in a direction of understanding authority differently, understanding power differently. And I don't mean that in the sense of, you know, like a police officer, that's a different energy, that's Aries. I mean, on a larger scale, what is true power and whom is it that is powerful and what it means to you in your own life to cultivate power and I believe wisdom as well. Well, that can be a deeply personal journey. It is Jupiter now that is going to invite us to step onto this journey in some significant way and in at least one area of life. I would also add with this, there is a sense now of an understanding that those who are most practical can make the most gains at this time. And that certainly is true for us. There are times to dream big. That was Jupiter and Sagittarius. Jupiter moving through Sagittarius was all about the big vision and believing, and if you believe it, you can be it. But it is Capricorn that is an energy that says you can have anything that you are willing to work for, but you got to be willing to work for it. What's willing to work for? What's worth working for? And what is it that you're not willing to work for? What isn't worth the work? Well, these distinctions can start to show up for us now. And while making these distinctions, our pathway forward starts to become that much more clear. Collectively, certainly, but in our own individual journeys as well. Now, even though it is Jupiter that's getting all the attention, all the shine, right, with a week like this, there are other things happening in the sky this week as well, mainly around Tuesday. Mercury will be speaking in harmony in a conversation that astrologers call a sextile with Pluto. This is a conversation that actually has been repeated. <laughs> Ever since mid-October, we have been in Mercury retrograde season. And it is now and at the very end of this week that Mercury will leave shadow. So the whole extended Mercury retrograde season will be good and behind us. So this is the last major connection that Mercury will be having as part of a characteristic of this larger Mercury retrograde season. So all of us now are gonna be asked to look at our experiences over the course of the last month and a half and to contemplate and consider where it is that true transformation lies, where it is that a healthy sense of honesty can change things from the inside out. That is part of the invitation to us now. But it is gonna be as we get to the end of the week and we leave Mercury shadow behind that it'll truly feel like we are stepping into new territory in the best possible sense. 
The other beautiful energy playing out this week is a harmonious connection between Mars and Venus. Now these two planets are speaking in a type of conversation that astrologers call a sextile. And this is just sexy. That's really what it comes down to. It is a beautiful, sexy energy. And it is going to be Mars in a heightened position in the sky right now that is likely to be that much more dominant, which means passion is going to reign. It is Venus that brings a gentleness, a sweetness, a graciousness to it. But it is very possible now that a lot of us feel uh, very propelled in a particular direction towards our passion or towards a person that we are passionate about. And that sense of wanting a connection can be especially dominant. Now, with Venus speaking in harmony, there's a sense of receptivity and listening and a gentleness to our approach that can make it uh, that much more a meaningful experience as we connect with new people or the people whom we already know, whether it's platonic or otherwise. It is now with a sky like this that we are embracing that much more the love of what it is that we desire to move towards. That's Venus in Capricorn. Where is it that we can give love, not only in the larger world, but create a legacy of love? And how is it now that understanding what efforts are truly going to matter, what are the smart most strategic actions to take, that's Mars and Scorpio, how is that going to help us get to that place where we get to live that love, we get to give that love that much more? Well, that is also one of the gifts of Venus speaking with Mars at this time. What I love about this week for us, well, of course it's Jupiter. Jupiter changing signs is always big. It is always momentous. It is always a signal that blessings are about to evolve and move into a brand new area of our lives. And this particular Jupiter transit is going to be something very special, especially in December, in this month of 2019. As we move towards, on the one hand, supremely harmonious connection, a rare connection between Jupiter and Uranus in the middle of the month, and then a solar eclipse conjunct Jupiter as well, Well, it tells me that there's a lot to look forward to. Big blessings on offer by a truly wise and loving and generous universe. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I am going to keep my comments, my announcements as brief as possible today because obviously, (laughs) and again, thank you for your patience with me here. Of course, uh, special horoscopes are up on my website. If you want to know how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you and your sign, you can log into the superstar space on my website as well, nadiashaw.com. And preview horoscopes for Jupiter are already up on my Instagram account. I will try as soon as possible and as soon as I'm able to create a Jupiter special horoscope for YouTube uh, as well, because I have a lot more to say. I think it's going to be a pretty profound an important transit and an important time for humanity as we enter into a brand new and very special master number decade. Now, right now I am in the midst of Black Friday, Cyber Monday holiday weekend and uh, the big sales that are going on. The Jupiter special horoscopes until midnight on Monday are only $1.50, which is half price. After that, the price will go up to $2.99, the regular price. And so if you've never gotten a special for me before, it might be a good time to do that now if you are so inspired to do so. And so if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I only do two sales every year. One is the anniversary sale. The other is Cyber Monday sale. Cyber Monday is this Monday. So if you are so inspired, join my newsletter, get on my website, have a look around uh, because there are very big discounts that are on offer only until the end of the night on Monday. Uh, And thank you. Thank you everybody for your trust who's already been participating, already been making purchases. I appreciate your trust so much. And for Synchronicity University, the choose your own tuition rate has been extended until midnight, late night, Monday night, 11.59 Monday night, uh, EST time. Uh, So we've extended it just a little bit through Cyber Monday weekend. So have a look if it is that you'd like to join 
uh, us in class. I would love to have you, love to have you join us. It is always so much fun to teach and this coming term, there's lots of exciting classes uh, from you guys that is requested by you guys. Live events are coming up as well. I'll be in Florida very soon. I'm really excited about that. Thank you to the NCGR Group of South Florida for hosting a free book launch party, plus a talk and a workshop. And of course, I've got lots of other in-person events coming up, including a fabulous cruise event in January. Uh, we are welcoming last minute signups. People are still signing up, so thank you for that. And with that, I think I'm gonna start wrapping it up because <laughs> I am just really, really grateful that I could have this moment with you, that I could sit down with you and just thank you so much. Thank you for your love and your trust. I know that in uh, the US, this is Thanksgiving Day weekend. And so my gratitude to you. I know in Canada, we have uh, a tradition with indigenous people as well. And so whenever there's Thanksgiving, I also like to give my gratitude to the indigenous communities of the Americas and, um, and their resilience and all the different ways in which they continue to inspire, uh, I think not only the countries that they're in, but really the world. So my love to you and yours, and by yours, I mean not only your family, um, but also the people of the land uh, from which we identify as home. And thank you. Thank you so much for this moment with you and thank you for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.